Making a game on Roblox is very, very easy, and today in this video, I'm going to go over how to code in Roblox Studio 2020, which is how you make games. Welcome back to Roblox Future, let's get into the video. Start from the beginning. The very first step towards coding and making a new game or feature in Roblox is to set up an account and install the Roblox Studio. To play Roblox games, you'll need to install either the browser plugin or the desktop client, depending on your browser. This will also install Roblox Studio, the free software package used to make Roblox games. While Roblox Studio may seem a bit complicated, it is usually quite simple to operate. The Roblox Editor is one of the best designs we've ever used. The installation is simple, and the hardware requirements are so nearly that any computer can run it smoothly. You don't need to learn a lot of graphic designing or a lot of designing and photoshopping software. You just have to have a working PC, some creative ideas, a Roblox account, and a Roblox Studio, and you're good to go. And you can just move it around by just selecting it and moving it around. You can also increase your efficiency. When you first install Studio, it's already set up and ready to go for anyone just starting out. But if you want to increase your efficiency, there are a few settings you can modify to get the most out of everything Studio has to offer. Access your settings under the File tab on the top left. After clicking on the Settings option, you'll find a variety of panels that will change different settings in Studio. Here are a couple of settings that we find most helpful to change. Under the Studio tab in Settings, you can modify the camera movement speed. This is useful when you want to make large terrain changes or edit small details quickly, especially if you have a large map. Conversely, if you're working on a detailed model, reducing your camera speed allows you to move around and be more accurate. Another setting that may be useful for you is to change the edit quality level, which is located under the rendering tab. By default, the setting is set to automatic, which means it will automatically set your quality level based on your system's capabilities. However, depending on your computer specs, it may set you to a lower quality setting and you won't be able to see certain graphical effects, particularly those relating to neon and lighting. Any quality level from 12 and above will display neon and other cool effects, so if your computer can handle it, a setting of 12 or higher is recommended. There are plenty of other settings you can experiment with, but just remember to be careful if you're not sure what the setting does. You can restore your settings to default by clicking Reset All Settings in the Settings tab. You can play games in both Roblox and Roblox Studio. Ironic. Just edit them slightly, stuff like that. You should never... Um... Learn the basics. After installation, the first and foremost step is to familiarize yourself with the interface and learn the basics of the software. But don't worry, it's not that difficult. Roblox Studio is specially designed in a way that anyone can learn it in a very short period of time. Roblox Studio Editor provides game designers with a number of powerful tools, but before you are able to create your very own blockbuster course, you must become pro at the basic functionality. You gotta learn the properties and the basic options available in the toolbar. The toolbar contains icons with all sorts of tools you can use to change your place. Fiddle around with these tools and see what you can do with them. Once you're familiar with what each tool does, you can move forward. We highly recommend that you get really good at the basics here, as this will save you a ton of time as you build future games on Roblox. You should know how to add or change colors, shapes, text, etc. But don't get too overwhelmed, you got this. Many popular games on Roblox are created by the players who had nothing to do with gaming or designing. If they can do it, so can you. Get familiar with the game codes. There are a few noteworthy things you need to know before you start coding full time. You need to be familiar with all these codes to create an error free and working program, because in programming, a minor error can make your whole program fail. Firstly, you must know about the strings. Strings are the things that will hold the text of your code or program. They are pinned or bracketed in by quotation marks or apostrophes. Then comes the tables. These are the list containing indexes of arrays, objects, and more. The third thing you gotta learn is to have a good hold on the numbers. Nothing surprising here, just numbers as we all use them. Good ol' 1, 2, 3. Then comes the variables, functions, and statements. Variable, as we learned in high school, algebra holds the value for your code. Believe us, they are the most important part of your program because they can make up nearly every bit of programming. Functions are different ways in which your code can be run. For example, they can be run once or multiple times to calculate and observe different results using different numbers and variables. Lastly, statements is where logic comes in. These statements read like your basic logical statement. If x is true, then y is false. These coding basics mostly use then, else if, and nil statements. If you are a computer science student, you must know it already, but even if you are not, there is no reason to worry because there is no rocket science and you can learn it in just a few attempts. Learn these and soon you'll be able to create your own game in Roblox. So, let's begin. So this is the code door that I made. You press the button, a UI pops up, and you can enter the code. And if the code is correct, the door will open. The Obstacle Course The first game that one will probably create is an obstacle course or obby. An obby is a game where the player must navigate many different obstacles and mazes to make it to the finish line promptly. To get started, open the editor. Once the editor is open, you'll see and start with a base plate, which is a base starting template used to build a project. Obstacle courses are made up of many different parts, which are physical objects that can be inserted into a level. To go about doing so, look towards the top of the screen and locate the part icon and then select the block part. 
Once clicked, you can now drag your part around the editor, and if you'd like to make it larger or smaller, or even have it face another direction, you can utilize the scale or rotate buttons. Both actions function similarly to what you've probably experienced in other programs. A key feature of most obvious is a floatable part, that is, a part that isn't affected by gravity and thus suspended in the air. You can anchor the part from the properties menu. To access, click your block and look into the bottom right corner of the screen. Here you'll see your part properties and will be able to check the box next to the anchored in order to implement your behavior. Creating an obby is the simplest yet most enjoyable part of the Roblox Studio. You can create as many obbies as you want and use them to make different games in the future. What? Well, push out the wall and then try knocking off the edge of the map. So let's just add in part. It's time for scripting. Now comes the part you have been rooting for, the scripting. If you go and ask a programmer what he hates about it, he will say he hates to do the scripting. But Roblox Studio has made it so easy you will love this part. The programming language used on Roblox is called Roblox Lua, a dialect of the lightweight, easy to learn language Lua. In order to make your obby work, you'll need to learn basic Lua scripting. Lua is a powerful scripting language that will allow you to make your game come to life. Lua has been used to make thousands of popular games and apps and is a great programming language to learn. Fortunately for you, Roblox Studio has a native, user-friendly text editor that is easy to learn. While scripting using text-based coding might seem intimidating at first, just take your time and you'll find that it's a lot simpler than you think. Lua is quite easy to learn and is an excellent first language for new game designers. What we especially love about using Lua in Roblox Studio is the excellent documentation and helpful community. If you stick with it, you'll find that game development with Roblox using the Lua scripting language is fun and very rewarding. You have to be patient while programming and the first script you make will not always work, but you have to keep it together and give it another try. Even though it is a very easy programming language, but you have to keep a check on all the commas, semicolons, colons, numbers, and variables you are using because a little mistake will cause you to do it all over again. If you're a beginner, do not go for writing big and complex codes, go for something simple. And once you master the art of making simple programs work, give a shot at complex ones. Many YouTubers have uploaded many videos regarding coding and scripting on Roblox. You can always use them to learn. Hello world, and this is the first thing that you will see whenever you upload any script or you open any script. Also, before we continue, sorry, I forgot to mention this. Make sure that your output is open, which is basically this. Use the CF plugin. Roblox Studio also supports user-made plugins. We recommend downloading the CF Frame plugin, which lets you move objects around in 3D space by entering values. Once you've downloaded the zip file, open Roblox Studio, select Tools, Open Plugins Folder, and then extract the zip to the folder. If the plugin is installed correctly, you'll see a CF icon in the Roblox Studio toolbar. This is the most fun plugin on Roblox and very easy to use. It provides you with a lot of fun options that no longer Pro plugin provides. Have fun using it. Trade your currency. We have told you how to code step by step on Roblox till now, but here are some interesting features in the studio that you will enjoy. The most fun one is the trading currency screen. As a Roblox player, you must be familiar that it has two in-game currencies, Robux and tickets. But do you know that with the trading currency screen, you can actually trade these two currencies and make an actual profit out of it? But you gotta do it smartly and you need to take care of and learn about the trade ratio. You must know how much Robux you get in exchange for tickets and vice versa, and then you should trade accordingly. You also should play the market orders and limited orders card smartly. The difference between the two is market orders trade instantly at the market rate, while limited ones allow you to input how much you're trading and how much you want for it. Tickets and Robux can be used to buy various in-game items like hats, some of which are only available one currency or the other. You can also use your tickets to advertise your games to get even more tickets. Isn't this the most fun feature? You can now buy items that can be bought in only one of these currencies simply by exchanging the currency in your Roblox studio, and that too for free. And that's going on on Roblox, and everybody's using the trade currency to trade their Robux and the tickets, but the tickets and the Robux. Um, so basically, look up here to the right, you can see it's 19.8. Keep testing. Here's the most important tip if you don't want to make any error in the programming and you want your codes to work. You have to keep it testing. You have to test your program after every step so you make sure that you are the one that you haven't made any mistakes yet. It is better to know your mistake earlier than to run into the program in the end and find out that you made a mistake in the initial steps and you have to do it all over again. If you want to become a successful game developer on Roblox, testing is your key. It will save your time and energy and who knows, you might end up making a successful working program in the first attempt. Now that's a dream you should work for. Roblox has tons of unique features and tools. Some people have accounts to play games, others just to build and play with physics, or even just to socialize. It's a multi-purpose site. But one thing we can agree is that whether you choose to play or create games in the studio, you will end up having the time of your life. Roblox should never bore you, in fact it will help you survive through your boring and lazy days.
which brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.